Hi media students, I'm going to demonstrate to you how to perform some basic search functions in EBSCO's Film and Television Literature Index to locate full text sources for use in your research. Once we've accessed the database from the SJSU King Library homepage, we can begin our searching. At first, the database defaults to the advanced search mode. You might not have an array of criteria yet, so let's first take a peek at basic search by clicking its link. The basic search function allows you a single search field with which to perform a keyword search of the system. It's kind of like some high-profile search engines you might already be familiar with. One thing we'll want to do if we're looking for articles that we can read online through the database and library is to limit our results to full text articles. This can be done by clicking full text in the section entitled Limit Your Results. Let's start with a search for materials on the filmmaker Luis Bunuel. Okay, we've got some hits already, but perhaps that's too broad of a search. We've got some specific subject matter in mind, so we might want to use the system to narrow our query a little bit. To do so, you'll likely want to take advantage of the advanced search layout to combine and refine the concepts that you're searching for. To access it, click Advanced Search. Again, we'll want to click Full Text to limit our results to full text articles that we can access and read online. You'll notice at the top of the page an arrangement of three search fields. These fields can be tailored to search the repository by criteria that you specify. For example, you might have an author or specific title in mind to search by, in which case you can specify in the drop-down menu adjacent to the search field those specific criteria headings. You can choose from title, author, subject, people, publication name, and so on. Leaving the drop-down menu unspecified will default the field search function to keyword. Having multiple search fields means that you can combine terms to further elaborate your search query to the system. Say I'd like to search for materials on Bunuel. I might begin my search by entering his name in the top search field. You'll notice to the left of these search fields, so the subsequent search fields, that there are drop-down menus to select operator words to determine how your search terms relate with one another. These operators, called Boolean operators, the words and, or, and not, allow you to group and exclude terms from your search. Perhaps I'm interested in how Bunuel's films figure into the context of the artistic movement surrealism. To find some materials that associate Bunuel with surrealism, I could enter surrealism in my second field with the operator drop-down menu specified to AND. This means that all my results from this search will include mentions of both Bunuel and surrealism. If I'd like articles on Bunuel or articles on surrealism, not necessarily just ones that mention both terms, I could use the operator OR to run a search for both terms. If three fields isn't enough for your search, you can press the circular plus button to add additional fields. Clicking on a title in your list will allow you to retrieve the full text of the item with options to save, print, email the article, and so on. I 
hope these basic tips have been helpful in pointing you toward research materials that are helpful for your topic. Happy searching!